Hey folks, how are you all doing? It's come back at you again. Today I'm bringing you something I should have bought you a little while ago. It is a review of my brand new Charvel Promod San Dimas in neon pink, made in Mexico. Uh, an absolutely fantastic guitar this, uh, definitely perhaps my favourite actually of all my guitars in my entire collection and it is uh, an absolute dream guitar, it really is the guitar of my dreams this and I shall tell you why when we go through the specs. Right let's take a little look at the specs of the guitar, we have Charvel branded tuners, uh, a two piece flat saw maple neck as opposed to the quarter saw maple neck seen on the USA. Uh, Japanese and previous Mexican models before this lot came out and it is by no means less comfortable, a gorgeous feel uh, a separate fingerboard is added this time uh, which is, uh, I don't think it's made much of a difference to the tone but it feels really really nice and is also incredibly comfortable there's also a new neck profile uh, this year which is a tad thicker I feel, but by no means less comfortable. If, if anything, I feel it's very much uh, more molded to the shape of your hands somehow. I don't know why, but it feels really, really nice. We have uh, jumbo frets. Uh, we also have uh, two little great features which are brand new this year. Uh, a little motif, I feel, from the Guthrie Govan signature Charvel, which is a thumb wheel for the truss rod, which is really, really nice. So if you're uh, encountering some freaky climates on tour, you can just get down there and <laughs> job done if your neck moves. And also for extra stability, we have graphite reinforcement rods running through the guitar, which is awesome because um, it, uh, they just add some extra stability. And also somehow every note appears even on this guitar. I don't know why, but there's no uh, dead ends or any dead spots. It's just so... <laughs> It's just really smooth and fluid. Uh, down here, where business gets serious, we have uh, two uh, humbuckers, of course, the Seymour Duncan JB and 59, screwed directly into the body this time, as opposed to um, being uh, suspended on bezels like the previous models. Uh, I don't know why, but it just really helps the tone somehow. It just um, it just suits me down to the ground. I really like it, and I, I'm not the sort of person who likes to constantly keep changing pickups to try them out. I just roll whatever's in there, and they sound great. I really really love them. We have an original uh, FRT 1000 Floyd Rose made in Korea as opposed to uh, Germany. By no means any different. It's just as good as the German one. So any of you snobs out there, the Korean one is just as good. There's no worries there at all, absolutely fine, perfect stu tuning stability. It's just a slightly different material. Um, uh, the Floyd Rose is also fully back routed as well, so if you want to go there for some of your um, woo -woo -woo Steve Vai moments, you're all good. Uh, I however like to use it for some nice sort of clean, some nice sort of uh, vibrato arised chords, whatever. Uh, also, uh, Charvel have this year the uh, have incorporated the idea of a six pack of sound. And what I love about this, uh, this is the way I envision it. It's you're effectively getting two guitars in one when you buy one of these. And what happens is, is you if you come down here, you have a whole uh, selection of new uh, controls. We have a blade switch. Another feature I feel was taken from the Guthrie Govan three way. And also we have. Uh, the addition of a tone knob, which I'll get to later, but we have, um, so, pretty standard, uh, your uh, neck humbucker, perfectly standard uh, neck humbucker there, then if you put it in the middle, you've got the two uh, black inner coils, so the guitar comes almost, almost telly-like. Or should I say, stratty. <laughs> really, really nice, really opens up your chords. Really, really nice. We also have uh, the neck humbucker here. Uh, if you uh, put the switch in the third position, we've got just standard neck humbucker, really creamy. Really, really nice. 
nice. And then we have, uh, of course, the six pack of sound where it engages. And what you have here is basically a split coil knob. Just pull it out and it comes out real, real nice. Uh, in the uh, bridge position here, we have just this coil, the white one on the outside. Nice and bright, just like a strap. probably my favorite position we have uh, the two uh, outer coils here and this sounds absolutely gorgeous now this really is sort of pseudo telly like really uh, sort of honky let me give you a riff with a telecaster all right status quo or something really really cool uh, we also have um, in the I drop my pick. We have the uh, the neck cum bucket here, and it is using the with the knob pulled out. We have the outer coil here, and let me just find my pick wherever it went. Ah, uh -huh. picks run away. Okay. This is the outer coil. Johnson that I feel. And then of course there is the addition of a tone knob, which is something I really genuinely feel they need to put on any Charvel guitar. I think I'm the only person with a Super Strat who still uses them. And what's great about this is a little bit of trickery in it. If you turn the volume, uh, volume, the tone knob all the way up to 10, uh, it's bypassed, so it might as well not be there. Uh, and when you feel it, it's it's like it's stuck in position, if you will. It's like it can't turn down. Then, when you give it a little bit of force, well not force, just more pressure than usual, uh, it starts to function as a tone knob, so you can roll it down for those woolly moments. Which I like to go for occasionally. And also you can do this, which is really, really cool. Nice little effect. So if you get a, um, if you can do the Eric Johnson um, half guitar, which is, oh, I failed. <laughs> That's, the fluctuate the tone knob, you get a really cool, interesting effect. So, uh, nice. People won't know what you're doing. Uh, so. For anyone who doesn't like tone knobs, turn it all the way up to 10, it's bypassed, turn it down a little bit, you've now got a tone knob. So, everybody's happy. Uh, what else do we have? Older body, and apart from that, I can't really think of much else. Apart from, look how pink this guitar is. I mean, literally, this guitar is pinker than Lady Penelope's Rolls Royce. It is literally ridiculous. If you see it in the flesh... It, no camera will do it justice. Like, on here, I've checked what it looks like through my camera already. It looks like quite a girly pink, let's be honest. And when you see it in the flesh, it changes totally. It is literally fluorescent. It really is fluorescent. And um, I've always had, like, a fetish for um, uh, pink guitars. Like the, um, you know, the uh, Steve Vai Gems from Passion and Warfare? Or um, Satchel's uh, Stripey Kramer Pacer? But um, this guitar, I feel, is actually pinker. It's so uh, well done and shiny and, and just so zingy pink. It is literally just gorgeous. You can just get lost in looking at it. And also, if you're in a dark room, it glows in the dark. The time it actually looks its pinkest is when it's, say, going dark. Where the dark room's going dark around it. And um, the guitar just stays just as bright and pink. It's fantastic. And if you see it next to some of the other guitars in the new Pro Mod range this year, like if you put this next to a uh, a really classy, I don't know, Tobacco Sunburst or the new or the Purple Burst, which also looks really nice for the Charvel uh, uh, Pro Mods this year, uh, it just stands out like a sore thumb. And if you saw it next to Neon Yellow, the counterpart to this, which I almost got as opposed to this, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, 
and I highly recommend you go to Rich Tone Music to have a look. But nevertheless, fantastic guitar, the guitar of my dreams. I can't really think of anything else to say apart from let's give it some maximum rock before the end of the video. <laughs> Excellent. Middle position. <laughs> cleans out real nice too. Tone knob down, let's see what happens. Yes. All right. Neck pick. Neck on bucket now. Oh no, that is creepy. Nice, bit out of key there, but let's do this. Uh, I don't know, one last burn around, I'll use some whammy that bar this time. That helps if you turn your volume up. <laughs>